What's up guys? This is a little unlike the videos I did last year for Gem State Comic Con. Um, unfortunately, with some new work things, I was unable to attend the Saturday events. I will be able to do the Sunday events. However, I'm a little underwhelmed for this one this year and it has nothing to do with Gem State Comic Con. I'm just warning y'all right now, it might be a little bit different than the videos I put out last year, but stick with me, I'm gonna do what I must. Hey guys, so it is the night before Comic-Con. <sighs> I've been trying to get this shirt done for <laughs> the past couple hours. It looks like garbage right now, um, but you know what? She's rough around the edges, so you know what? It, it could be worse. It definitely could be worse. At least it's a circle. So I basically am missing like 80% of the convention tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, I do have to work in the morning actually in just a few hours that's, that's that's great i don't think i will be doing a get ready with me this time just because i'm probably gonna have to go straight to comic-con from work if i want to even make like the last couple hours of it my video will probably include some kind of like full body shot of what the outfit's gonna look like we are on our way. I'm almost to the fairgrounds, but just got off work. I'm gonna have to change in my car because there was no way I was gonna walk out of my new job in full costume, so. I went really light with the makeup this time. I literally have no energy right now. That's gonna be fun. It's been a hot minute since Thank you. Thank you. Would you mind putting it on for me? Is that I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Everything is falling apart. Awesome, by the way. Thank you. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. I'm Ruby Roundhouse from, from Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Are you running yes. this? You wouldn't happen to have Gotham Knights Nightwing, would you? Is that the blue and black one? Yeah. Gotham. I have the big one, but not here. Where is it? It's out of Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But we do have it. I'll give you my phone. 
Great. That, yes, I've been looking everywhere for it since the release of Gotham Knights. So great. Thank you so much. I've literally been looking for this for like a year. <laughs> oh, good, good. Sorry? Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, and see, like, I love Tara. Like, she was one of, like, she was, like, literally, like, one of my absolute favorites. And I just, like, I don't see her a lot. So I was like, I'm, I'm blonde. Like, why not? I know. Another character I really like, I think is super underrated, is, like, Stephanie Brown. I love her as spoiler, and I feel like people just kind of forget about her, so. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. With me? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a great day, guys. Oh, hi, Professor. <laughs> How's it going? Thank you. I appreciate it. Last year. Thank you so much. Oh my God, these are great. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Do you mind if I go through? Please do. All me and everything except for the suits that look like that are handmade. Jay Garrick, love to see it. My favorite version of Flash. He's so, oh my god, like nobody ever really like recognizes him. And I'm just like, I don't know who Jay Garrett is. Right. Take a quick picture of this so I can like put you in my video. Is that all right? Oh, that's totally great. I am searchable by Lil' Kate possibly on all social media. So. Great. I never see KDA stuff anymore. No. I love Evelyn. Your Tara is so cute. Thank you, I appreciate it. I love your Tara. I love your Tara. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's why I put my house. Oh my gosh, Tara. I know, I had someone telling me like they've never seen the new video like a Tara cosplay before. I feel like she's one of the like easiest. Once in a while, yeah, because it's like it's the show design is literally just outfit. Mm -hmm. Do you mind looking at your picture? No, of course. Did you make that all by yourself, like the beard? No, to be honest, I got it from Amazon. It looks great though, like it, it looks like, it looks handmade, like it looks really nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So like the line to see Sean Astin is literally, it's all the way out the door, bro, and they have everything like blocked off so you can't see it, which makes sense. People paid like a hundred dollars per photo op for him.
What? You are also coming home with me. Do you mind if I get a video of that? Is that okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I ruined my Heath Ledger poster. I'm actually going to either cry or unalive someone. I'm not sure yet. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm trying to walk the line. If I don't fall, that means I can have some more rum, Sabi. Sorry, I saw my opportunity. <laughs> Oh my god, I found them. Yay! Sorry? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, dang it. I should have bought the Dr. Fate helmet at the Comic Arts Festival. No! Oh my god. She says Dr. Fate will go back. I have to have it. Take some pictures and send them and just put them on my Facebook, yeah, Bad Dog 3D printing or Bad Dog 3D on Instagram. I've got like three of your business cards. Okay, thanks, sweetie. <laughs> of course, thank you. I am very happy right now. So I see Dr. Fate's helmet. Where's Dr. Fate? How do you know I'm not stepping in for Kent Nelson? I probably mean, yeah, sure, you could be. Fun. You want to get in on this? <laughs> yeah, of course. So it looks like it has started raining, which is great because now I can protect my face and makeup. All that's left to do now is go around and buy all the stuff that I couldn't buy the first time. These are, these are little prints that were done with uh, metallic foil printing. Okay. okay. Oh my god, Hawkman. I never see Hawkman stuff. Yeah, and he's a great character. Hawkman? Hawkman and Hawk Girl. You did something for the um, the uh, a night in Gotham, didn't you? The Arkham. Jo yeah, I have that poster. Oh, cool. I did a video over it as well. Thank you. Thank you. Jason Momoa? <laughs> I love this, sir. <laughs> this is excellent, of course. Oh, slurred. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, actually, different different characters. I just bought this. Okay, but could you imagine Tara wearing Dr. Face helmet? Like, ultimate power to be. Did you guys just hear what that lady said to me? Couldn't find my keys. Cause they were not my car. I just need to start out first and foremost by saying that I was having a really crappy couple of months, and this literally was just the one thing I was looking forward to, and it act it definitely made my day. I was just so happy being able to go again this year, um, even if it was just for one day. I saw so many new costumes this year. I bought stuff. And more people recognized my Tara costume than both my Roy Harper and Black Canary costumes combined last year when I went both days. So, you know what? Tara for the win, bro. You guys have no idea how happy I am. This like this, this was so, this was just amazing. And thank you, Jump State Comic Con. You have given me life and you've given me a reason to keep living. Good job. I was able to see some of my favorite artists and booths again this year. Um, probably gonna see him again during the Comic Arts Festival. Bad Dog 3D Printing, I got you. Probably gonna share the haul when I get home. It's, dude, it's like 80 degrees in my car. All right guys, now we're to one of the most important parts of this video, the haul. All right, let's get to it. If any of you guys have ever seen Atlantis the Lost City, y'all know who Kita is. Got a print of Kita. I, had, I never see stuff of her. And I got a free sticker with it, so thank you. Yeah, I never see stuff of Kita, and it was like one of my favorite Disney movies growing up. So I saw that, and I like, I was like, gotta have it, you know? Okay, so I was so terrified this was gonna get messed up in my bag. It's a little bent, but you know what? It's fine. We can fix this. You guys know Heath Ledger, legend. It's probably my favorite Joker of all time. I don't know, it looks like the printing when they were trying to blow it up just kind of made it like fuzzy. And I didn't really think about that when I bought it. Like it's still freaking cool. And when you're sitting back here, like obviously you can tell it's the Joker. This was absolutely worth it. Maybe not 20 bucks worth it, but it was worth it. I'm not a super big anime girl, but I do love a few certain animes and got some fan art from Kamisama Kiss. You know, you got Tomoe, boy Tomoe here. I am not a Gojo simp. Inumaki is my guy. Inumaki is my guy. But this was hilarious. I thought this was just absolutely hilarious. And so I had to get it. It was cute. They had one of him like just as the picture, but I like this one better because it's very yearbook to me. And I, I can't explain why I like that better. And then of course I love fruits baskets. So we're not gonna talk about why it's not cute, but it's pretty cute. And then of course, like, you're not just gonna like see yourself and not purchase yourself. Mind you, I'm not a Teen Titans Go fan, but this is my girl. This is me. This was me, guys. I don't really watch Teen Titans Go, so I never really noticed, but they kind of mixed like her casual clothes with her OG, like the what I was wearing, right? So instead of the like the black long sleeve and stuff, they gave her um, like a gray under like an, an undershirt which in her casual clothes it's like a white crop top with like black undershirt so I don't know that's kind of cool also the box is kind of messed up so I'm wondering if this is like a like a resold item which if it's all scratched up when I open the box I'm actually gonna be really sad <laughs> the best part of this purchase of course my kudos go out to bad dog I Every time I see these guys, they've got something for me. 
Now this is a piece I was looking at at the Comic Arts Festival. And lo and behold, this man pulls it out of a bin from under his table. It wasn't up there, so I thought they'd sold it. Dr. Fate, oh my. In case you guys remember in my Comic Arts Festival video, I was eyeing this helmet very, very hard. And so when I got up there today and I was like, darn, you guys don't have it. Bro pulls it out of nowhere. I don't think I have a mannequin head big enough to display this. And so I posted a couple pictures on my social media before Comic-Con today because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to go. Um, I had a couple people asking me where I actually got my accessories to make my costume. So the shirt, um, as you guys saw in earlier in the video, I made by myself. I just bought a black long sleeve crop top and I, I painted on the tee. So it was not great, but you know, Tara's a little rough around the edges. She's a rock girl, so it works, you know. The gloves, I love these gloves. The only problem is when I bought them, they're not, they didn't match the same color as my belt or my boots. Like those were a little bit more orange based. This is a little bit more like yellow green. It's okay though. I don't think anybody noticed, but um, these were great. They, they had like a strap so I could keep them attached to my sleeve and it wouldn't like my sleeve wouldn't like pull. And then so for the belt, I couldn't find a belt that was like Tara's cause she has like that circle buckle in the front. You guys will never believe it's a Deadpool belt. This is a Deadpool belt, all right? And I literally just flipped it inside out and reversed the Velcro on it. It works, dude, it's her buckle. This is Tara's buckle. Like this was literally the perfect like repurposing of a totally different costume piece. Like this was actually perfect for Tara. Oh! Not an intruder, just my sibling and their friend. I almost forgot to mention the goggles. Dude, the goggles are the best part besides the belt, of course. I got them for like hella cheap and they came in like their own little like velvet bag. They were so cute. The only thing with the goggles that I didn't like was that the strap was detachable and it kept coming undone. I had to have people like hold my stuff so I could fix it again so it wouldn't like fall off of me. They were also like really big. Like the, you guys will, you guys will see in my pictures, like they like the lenses literally covered like my entire like cheeks and forehead. I wish they would have been a little bit smaller. They just seemed like really, really big for no reason. Um, but for the purpose of the costume, it came across, everyone understood what it was. Oh yeah, the boots, literally just hiking boots. I tried to match them the best I could with the color scheme, um, especially with the belt. The belt was like the key piece. So I could literally just buy any hiking boots and I tried to match it as best as I could to the belt. 40 bucks, they're good quality though. The worst part of this entire costume was trying to find yellow shorts. It was impossible to find yellow shorts that were the right length, the right size, the right material, the right like shade of yellow. Dude, the ones that I finally wound up buying was the crappiest material that I've ever worn. It was see-through, it showed everything. It They weren't even tight. It just felt so thin that I felt like if I bumped into somebody, it was gonna like snag or something. And the waist was really loose. It wouldn't stay up where I needed it to. It was, they were just some of the worst shorts that I've ever bought in my life. But it was literally the only pair of shorts I had that looked even remotely close to what I could get for her costume. So I went with them. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking through with it for me. And thank you to Gem State Comic Con. So glad to be able to go this year. It was a lot of fun. But thank you one more time to Bad Dog 3D Printing. I love you guys so much. Like, Nabu and Jason are gonna be having a whole ass party in my new apartment come fall. Just saying, just saying. And also, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A very special thank you to Professor Dane Johns. I miss you, man. Thank you so much for getting me into Gem State Comic Con. Thank you so much for introducing me to this community. And just thank you so much for all the support you've given me. I really appreciate you. And it was so good to see you again today. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video.
Hey guys, just an update. Um, while I was editing this video, um, I discovered that somebody I took a picture with at Comic-Con uh, actually found my Instagram, uh, not only followed me, but uploaded the picture they took of the two of us together. So if you guys are watching this, please make sure to go check out Cyber Cosplay on Instagram. Uh, they have a lot of cool stuff on their on their page. They have a, a whole art profile. So you guys should check it out. Go see the picture that we took together.